it's tough times, there's no doubt about it. Um, food's run short down here. Uh, folks are definitely in desperate need to uh, get, get nutritious meals and, and keep them, give them some hope to keep them moving forward. So sorry if it choked up. Um, I think that uh, it's a very, uh, it's a very, very complicated uh, puzzle. Well, here on the downtown east side in Vancouver, a unique partnership between a fishing company and three local social enterprises has resulted in a nutritious meal made with the freshest of ingredients for those who need it the most. We've been supplying Canada's finest seafood to uh, restaurants for uh, over a decade now. And when the uh, coronavirus uh, hit our uh, economy and our business, we pivoted and uh, offered to take the same seafood that we, we'd been providing the top chefs and the finest restaurants and make it available to our local community. And, and this became a real neighbors helping neighbors uh, experience. Uh, one of the fishermen who uh, supplies us uh, recruited his 17 year old son as his crew. They ran 30 hours to the west coast of Vancouver Island, got a boatload of uh, first class uh, premium link cod. Uh, we brought it back to Vancouver. Uh, one of our partner uh, uh, processing companies called Fish Seafood worked uh, overtime to uh, uh, process it and make it available in a, a consumer friendly form. And then we distributed it to five charities led by Goodly uh, Food Society so that they could uh, distribute up to 10,000 meals throughout the downtown east side of Vancouver. <laughs> We all know the downtown east side here in Vancouver. I've never seen so many people out on the street. Normally people would guest in in the SROs. They're not allowed at the moment, so only the people that actually live in those SROs are allowing them to go into the door. Uh, anyone else is out on the street. And that's why you see the real problem right in front of your face. Most organizations in the downtown east side are closed. Um, so there's only a few that really make and supply meals. So it's a complete team effort. How did the recipe come about? I mean, you've been informed that Lincoln is coming in. Yeah. You've got a short amount of time yeah. to come up with it. It was a collaboration of myself with some, uh, some other community folk uh, down at Hab Cafe, as well as the Goodly Group. The chefs of us got together and were spit spitballing ideas of what we thought would work best. And, uh, we thought the chowder was the best way to go. It's lovely. It's had proper seasonings, uh, proper flavor. It's good. The folk down here, as we all know, are, are marginalized, and they they suffer from various, uh, very different stresses in their lives, from mental addictions to to abuse to people that have just been given a. Uh, have suffered and been given the short end of the stick in life, and it's it's our job as a community to, to come together and help look after these people as best we can. Well, it certainly smells fantastic. During times of COVID, this truly is a tale of neighbors helping neighbors. Mm -hmm.